Hey, what's going on guys? It's ETA Prime back here again. Today I want to show you how to add a power button or an on and off switch to your Raspberry Pi while running Recallbox. It's very simple to do. Now both of these switches are momentary switches, so that's what I'm going to be going over on in this video. You can also use a toggle switch for always off and then you switch it on, but these are just momentary switches. As soon as you press it, all it's doing is bridging the two wires. That's it. So this is a little one I rigged up here. And here's a smaller arcade button that I rigged up. You just press it, it's gonna bridge these wires and power down your Raspberry Pi. All right, so you're gonna to need to connect these to two GPIO pins. And the GPIO pins are number five and number six. So if we're looking at the Pi, just like it sits here, we're gonna count three down. One, two, three. These two are the ones we're gonna to connect to. Very simple to do. If you have a little connector, makes it much easier. But all this is gonna do is when we press this button, it bridges those two GPIO pins for a second. It's a momentary switch. It's gonna send a signal, read from the config file, and shut the Pi down. When the Pi's shut down, we can press it again to power it back on. So I'm gonna be using this switch here. It's the same as this. This is just a little one I rigged up. It's a momentary switch with some thicker gauge wire. It was easy to push right onto the GPIO pins and still maintain a connection. But what the switch is doing is actually just bridging five and six for a second. So even if I was to take this and bridge them, it would shut the Pi off for us. So there's two ways to edit the config file. If you're running your ROMs from your USB, you can just take your USB, plug it into the PC, and edit your config file on there. Or if you're running everything from the SD, you can do it over network. Now over network works with both ways, and I'm gonna show you how to do it using USB and network. Let's move over there now. So I have my Raspberry Pi booted up and I'm connected to the same network I'm gonna edit my config file from. Now if you wanna do this over network, you can even if you're using USB for your ROM storage. If you're running everything from your SD card, you're going to have to do it over network. It's very simple either way, but make sure you're connected to the same network as the PC you wanna edit your config file from. And you're gonna use a text editor called Notepad++. I'll leave a link in the description and I'll show you when we go to the computer. Press start on your controller and scroll down to network settings. We just wanna grab our IP address. Mine's 192-168-10-146. Yours is probably going to be different. Remember it, write it down, take a picture, cause we're gonna need it. So now we're gonna move over to the PC. We're gonna open up a browser, type in our IP address, and we will connect to the Raspberry Pi over network. That will allow us to edit our config file very easily. If you're using USB, just shut your Pi down, take your USB drive out, plug it into the PC and edit your config file from there. I'll show you both ways. First, we'll do network transfer. Let's move over to the PC now. I'm at the PC I'm going to be editing from and I'll just leave a link here. It shows you everything you need to know. We're gonna be focusing on the momentary switch. You can also use an on and off switch. Like I said, GPIO pin five and six here. So it doesn't matter if you have negative and positive on either one of them because all we're doing is bridging this connection. There's no power in our switch. So all we really need to do is bridge it. Doesn't really matter about the negative and positive leads. Next up, I definitely recommend using Notepad++. It's free to use, there's no viruses. This is the best editor that I've found for Windows. If you use the built-in Notepad that comes with Windows, it adds weird characters to the config file sometimes. So you try to boot back up and it won't work. So use Notepad++. You download it here, very simple to install. So I'm gonna connect to my Raspberry Pi running recall box with my IP address. My Raspberry Pi is still on and connected to the same exact network as this computer. I'm just gonna open up Chrome, go to the very top, and type in the IP address of my Raspberry Pi. 
and that's 192-168-10-146. Press enter. So this is really cool. This is built into recall box. As long as your recall box or your Raspberry Pi is online, you can access this with your IP address. You can monitor your system resources, shows you how much free memory, how much CPU usage you have going on, CPU temperature, all kinds of stuff. But what we're gonna focus on is the read and edit recall configuration file. Open it up. And if we look at the very top here, A, system options. I'm just gonna find pin five six push button. This is the momentary push button system that we're using. If you wanna use a switch like the um, on and off switch, like this here, you're just gonna need to comment out pin five and six on off switch. But we're using a push button. All we need to do is delete the semicolon at the beginning here. We're gonna uncomment it. Now it tells us to uncomment, and for the life of me, I kept trying to uncomment this, and this is just the link to how to add the start and stop button. This is how you uncomment usually in Linux. But for some reason, we just have to remove the semicolon. That's it, so I'm just gonna press space. Now if we look down the line, there's nothing in front of system power switch equals pin five six push. Scroll down to the very bottom. If you'd like to back it up, go ahead and do that, and I'm just gonna click save. I don't need to back it up because I have mine already backed up. Click save. Now, I'm gonna show you how to do it using just your USB stick. Okay, so now I'm just gonna show you how to edit it on the USB stick itself. Now this is really only if you're running your ROMs from your USB stick. I've shut down my Raspberry Pi safely because there's a great chance of corrupting the config file on the USB stick if you just unplug it. So plug your USB stick into your PC. Mine's USB 32. We have a folder in there named Recall Box. Open it up. Scroll down to System. And here we have our recallbox.config. Right click and open with Notepad++. From here, we'll just uncomment system.power.switch pin 56 push. Just delete the semicolon at the beginning. Go up to the very top, save, close Notepad++. And now we can move back to the Raspberry Pi. I have my button plugged in already to GPIO pin 5 and 6. Just going to bridge the gap. Let's move over there now. All right, guys, now that we've edited our config file and we have our momentary button hooked up to GPIO pin 5 and 6, it's time to test it out. So I know this is a little hard to see because of the background and the TV, but I wanted to show you that it is working. This is the Pi I'm using. This is the button. I'm going to press it. And it shut down the Pi for me. So after your green light stops flashing, give it a few seconds. We can press it again. And it turned the Pi on for us. So now that it's booted up again, I'm just gonna press it. It's gonna shut down the Pi for us. Very easy. I'll turn it on one more time for you. So that's it guys, very easy to do. 
Doesn't take much work at all. Hopefully you can get this set up in your arcade cab so it looks really nice. This is the momentary switch. If you want to use an on and off switch, you can do that. You just need to uncomment the other one in the config file. I appreciate you guys watching. If you could, hit that like button and subscribe because I got a lot more coming.